Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate channel. Let us learn together. It's operation Give Jesus your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honors lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quick hold fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown praise the name of the lord we serve a powerful god beloved the great i am the one and only risen king in him i hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom hallelujah i want to share a quick vision that i had regarding those who are in adulterous marriages and i will share a quick testimony of my own situation because I know many people have been wondering some have been asking some have been making their own conclusions so our father revealed that I can come and share with you like I said this is not my channel I share what father allows me to share Praise the name of the Lord. I want to read first the word of God from the book of Mark chapter 10. I will read verse 11 to 12. This was Jesus. And he said unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another, committed adultery against her. And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committed adultery. Again, I will read the word of God from the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 2. Paul said, For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband, so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loosed from the law of her husband. Again, Paul said in 1 Corinthians, chapter 7, verse 39, the wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. But if her husband be dead, she is at liberty to be married to whom she will, only in the Lord. That is the word of God, beloved. It is plain and straightforward. I know many people have been asking, what do you do if you have children in that marriage? Our Father showed me a vision, and it should help you understand. There are lots of videos about adulterous marriage. Beloved, I'm not going to go into details. I will attach them in the description box. In one of the messages, I shared that it's better you separate than to continue in that marriage. Because the word of God says, adulterers shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So it was in this vision where Father revealed that I can share my own personal testimony. And I was sharing that I found out that I was in adulterous marriage. And that was after I had all my children. I still had to stay away from the marriage. Because it's against the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So for those who have been wondering and some i know they were making their own conclusions so i am sharing today that i couldn't stay married to the father of my children because in this journey while our father is teaching us the truth then i discovered that my marriage is not valid before the lord Praise the name of the Lord. That is why I am not married. Because 
I was in adulterous marriage. I did not know. The truth from the word of God is what revealed. Praise the name of the Lord. So for all those who are in second marriages, while your former spouse is still alive, Know that you need to repent because adulterers shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.